recording this, all right? So um, just if you could silence your cell phones for now, and we can get started on our topic. The topic is about how to brand yourself and how to market yourself. So the one thing I said right now on top of this page for the handout is what's the best product you sell? Can anybody answer that for you? What would be the best product you sell? Are you thinking metaphorically, or are you thinking a real product? What do you think I'm thinking? I think you're thinking the best product you sell is yourself. Very good! I knew you were excited! That's right. Yes. Excuse me, can I have one of those papers? Oh, I thought I gave one. It's right there. Oh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. So, um, that's exactly right. The, the best product you sell is yourself. And when you, when you promote yourself and you present yourself in the best way possible, you're going to sell a lot more Avon or whatever else that you're trying to promote. Okay? So that's really what we're talking about tonight. So now everyone open up your purse and take out all the Avon products you have. Uh-oh. <laughs> Nothing because I grabbed one of these little things. Okay. Alright. What about my dance? Oh, Let's see how many Avon products you have. <laughs> wow, hand cream in there too? I have everything. I'm like, my bag is like Mary Poppins. <laughs> Oh, Are you counting brochures? Well, sure, take it out. Absolutely, you whatever you don't want like to make up. Like up oh my god! Oh, what is the matter? No, you're gonna crack up. You are something. I can't. Awesome. Oh, my makeup really has to take it all out. <laughs> you're gonna yell at me because my makeup is like, Karen, you use a lot of stuff. Now, is everything aim on Karen before you start yes. making up? Okay. It's a far cry. It's a far cry. Yes, right. And now I can see, see, now I know Karen for a while, and here she is piling it all up, and when we first started selling the first oh few times, goodness. she had a baggie full of non-Avon products. It was literally a Ziploc bag. Look at this. Even the pencil. She even has to say an Avon. Oh, a new pencil? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, so the fact that, you know, you need a bigger pocket. You need a bigger pocket. <laughs> so the fact, okay, you can stop Karen. Oh, oh, yeah, you have more stuff? Oh, we get that now? Yeah. <laughs> All right. And and you guys are here because, you know, you're, you're trying to learn new things about your Avon business and whatever. So, you know, I expect your pocketbooks to be full. But, I mean, this shows how dedicated you are to your company and that you believe in your product. So, if anybody... And you may, yeah, and your pocketbook, the actual pocketbook is Avon. Yeah. So if someone asked you, you know, oh, is that an Avon lipstick? Is that an Avon your eyeliner? You can literally take it out of your bag and show them. And that's what really proves to them that you really believe the product you, you sell and that you're presenting. So I wrote down, it's just to prove a point, but I wrote down some other ways. I have 10 ways. <laughs> you, do you know what I do with this? I'm like, did you smell Avon's new perfume? They're like, no. I'm like, hold on a second. Yeah, yes. exactly. Um, <laughs> I have I'll another bag I carry. So yeah, that's a whole, there. that's a whole another other. appendage. That's a whole other. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to talk about 10 other tips. And of course, that's the first one. It's to use the actual product line. And you can do a little survey on yourself, kind of like a head-to-toe test. Good. Am I using the hair products, the makeup products, the skincare products, the body care products, the body wash? Am I wearing the clothes? Am I wearing the shoes? You know, you have to take in the whole picture. There are so many things that you could be wearing, and you could be a walking billboard for your store, because of course, what's your store? And I have it, of course, in my purse. The brochure is the brochure. And if you're not carrying your brochure, your store is closed. So if Panera Bread locked the door right now and put a close sign on, they wouldn't make a dime for the rest of the night, which would cost them a lot of money. But if I leave my brochures at home or don't order enough, <laughs> if I don't order enough of them, my store is going to be closed and I'm not going to earn any money. So it's important that you're going to have your brochures on you, know your products inside and out, especially when new products come out like the Inugenics. We have the, the Jetix Central button. Everyone know where that is on your website? That um, button you can press on the home page. And you can watch blogcasts and webinars and webcasts all about the product. We get plenty of information written to us. 
in our what's new and also our um, brochures. So that's really important is to get your information. And of course, where do we learn everything? Yes, Maria. Great question. Sure. Can our GenX customers go on our website and write testimonials? No. But you can you can you can ask them for them. Okay. And put them in with the brochure. Yes. No. Well, yes, you could do that, but to get okay. it onto your website, okay. there's a personalization button right. on your website where you can you ask them, can I use your testimonial? And uh, you can write their name and maybe their last initial and put it in your in the body of the, mm -hmm. of the text where you can put like up to date information. Mm -hmm. That part, okay. Um, yeah, definitely. You can add them in there. That's a great idea. You can even put it right on your homepage. Okay. Because um, I changed all the wording on the front of my homepage as well. So see, I don't know how to do it. It doesn't let me. And then I go to hit enter or back. No, I'm sorry, backspace. Yeah. I want to go to delete a word, and it takes me back a page. Okay. Every time. I don't you know, know what? My website. We'll, we'll play. Better. Yeah. Yeah. We'll play with it, and I'll show you how to do it. So um, not only should be you be only knowledgeable about your Avon products, but you really need to be knowledgeable about the other products that are out there. And actually, Karen, you were with us when we went to the city, right? We did a trip into the city in Macy's, and we had a really great day. And we went to the makeup counters, and we all got makeovers or talked to people about skincare, and, and we learned a lot. We learned about not, what not to do, what not to say, how not to treat the products because some of those counters are scary with the bacteria and the mm -hmm. fingers in them and stuff. So right away I was like, oh no, don't put that on me, <laughs> you know, because I didn't want that one. But we would be talking to um, talking to them just to see how much these products are, what's in their products, and then we would take notes on it so that when a customer says, oh, you, oh, that's thirty-eight dollars, and I'm like, you know, well, the comparable product, you know, is seventy-five dollars. You know, and you can really speak to that in truth if you are knowledgeable about your products. So it's really important to read your magazines because that's where you'll learn a lot. There's a lot of information online. There's a lot of beauty magazine bloggers. You don't even have to buy a magazine. You can go online and research any product you want. Now, a way to brand yourself, and I should talk more about what does it mean to brand yourself. So let me just back up a minute. What it means is to brand yourself. It's a, a public relations marketing word. Um, what it means is to, when you walk in a room, people are automatically knowing that you're Avon. 